Okay, good day everyone. So for today, we will be discussing about the midterm topic, chapter 5 of the human-computer interaction with the title Emotional Interaction. So to start, what are the overview of the topic? First thing and foremost, we need to understand emotions and the user experience, followed by expressive and annoying interfaces. So it's how the appearance of an interface can affect the users. Models of emotions, automatic emotions, recognition, and emotional technologies. Then we have persuasive technologies and behavioral change. And we call it the anthropomorphism, the pros and cons of it. So what are the emotions and the user experience? So in the human-computer interaction, traditionally, been about design efficient and effective systems. So when we're talking about effective systems, it's how the users can understand and adapt a certain types of applications. Now, more about to design interactive systems that makes people respond in a certain way. So meaning you should be happy, trust and to learn and to be motivated using that types of application. So emotion with emotional interaction is concerned with how we feel, react when interacting with technologies. For example, this form. So, what are the what are the goals of this form? In a WUPU application, it feels like something Fisher Price would make. So they are asking about the customer satisfaction. So this is type of a survey using a form that. Uh, basically, it could be easily understood by the user by using some uh, questions followed by what we call the radio buttons. So, there are the radio buttons, yung, yung mga circle dyan. Then, would you recommend our product? Uh, would you use your product? These are examples of form. Okay, so form design layouts for surveys. So, for the emotional interaction, what makes us happy, sad, annoyed, anxious, frustrated, motivated, delirious, and so on? It's all about the user experience or yung nararanasan ng isang tao. Why people become emotionally attached to certain products, virtual, pets, and so on and so forth? Can social robots help reduce loneliness and improve well-being? Itong mga robotics na to, mga Arduinos na to, can help the functionality uh, of a person. Some are yes, some are not. So how to change human behavior through the use of emo emotive feedback? So all know that emotion is very important. So in the emotional design model, we have Norman, Anthony, and Revel, 2000 for model of emotions. We have the sensory followed by the motor. So this could talk about the reflective, behavioral, and visceral, or we call it the controls, on how we control through what we call the sensories. It's either the visual, feelings, and even the feeling can be considered as touch, yung mga yan, and also the hearing. So these are the types of emotion that we can proceed. So reflective, behavioral, and the other one. So in this type of three level, we are very claims from a uh, model, our emotional state changes how we think. Uh, when frightened or angry, we focus narrowly body response by tensing muscles and sweating. So normal naman na nangyayari to sa isang tao once there is a emotional state changes. Pagkaba, anxiety, you're very anxious and so on and so forth. When happy, we are less focused and the body relaxes. There are what we call the serotonin level that increase. Uh, those are the happy hormones uh, can be considered uh, types of neurons that is very important pagdating sa utak no, yung masaya. So when you are happy, majority of your muscles are relaxed, including any part of the body. More likely to overlook minor problems and be more creative. So in expressive interfaces, we need to provide reassuring feedback that can be both informative and fun. 
ko dapat. It would be generalized, informative, and of course, there should be a humor. But can also be intrusive, causing people to get annoyed and even angry. Color icons, sounds, graphical elements, and animations are used to take look and feel of an interface appealing, conveys an emotional state. It turns this can affect the usability of an interface. So people are prepared to put up with certain aspects of the interface. Slow download rate and so on and so forth. So dyan nagagalit agad yung tao. Totoo naman yun. But we cannot uh, blame the interface kung ang problem is the internet connection. Some of that. Friendly interface. Microsoft pioneered friendly interface. Yes. Majority of their products and even the operating system. Technopobs and home with bug software. 3D metaphors based on familiar places, living rooms. Agents in guise of pets. Bunny dog were included to talk to the users. So yung mga pampakyut na mga animation uh, na ginagamit para makapag-attract uh, at higit sa lahat, uh, in a word, let's say, it's cute. Ibig sabihin, pag yan ay cute and so on and so forth, uh, madaling ma-adapt ng tao. Magkakaroon siya ng tinatawag natin kasiyahan at the same time, yung kanyang emotion is tataas yung level ng kanyang happiness dahil dun sa nakikita niya. Okay, so... May mga tawag tayo dyan ng agent in guys of pets, no? So, for example, this one, we have the Microsoft Bob. We're using a dog. So, household manager. So, actually, this was a cute design layout for the human-computer interaction. And also, the user interface or the design of an application. Clippy. So, si Clippy, kung nakikita nyo, dati na yan sa Microsoft agent, Clippy siya. So, it was being produced by Microsoft Corporation. So frustrating interfaces, there are many causes. Una, when application doesn't work properly or crashes. Totoo yun. Siyempre, pag nasira, okay, pag nasira, ano pa, hindi lang yun, pag nag-crash, biglang nag-lag, o oh, yan ang minsan nakakailis, nakaka-prostrate sa isang interface, magmabagal. When the system does not do what the user want it to do, siyempre, when a user expectation are not met, When a system does not provide sufficient information to enable the user to know what to do, what, or we'll say, what to do for a specific task, hindi na met. When error message pop up, not or bug, obtuse, or condemning. When the appearance of an interface is garish, noisy, gimmicky, or patronizing. Minsan, it's very unfair yung, or very criticizing yung kanilang mga interface. Hindi maganda sa cultural lang isang, uh, cultures ng isang tao. When a system requires users to carry out too many steps to perform a task only to discover a mistake was made earlier and they need to start all over again. So yung mga palook, paulit-ulit na mga types of interfaces na minsan nakakainis, nakakapustig sa isang users. Una, I'm using gimmicks. Some of the gimmicks are not good. Okay, but not the user. Example, clicking on the link on the website, under construction, so it's not good, no? It's not good for the users. Lalo na yung kanila attention span, eh, mababa lang naman. Yung sa lahat, eh, madi-disappoint sila once na maraming gimmicks or masyado. Error messages also, kasi it would result a fatal or invalid of the system. So the application word wonder us unexpectedly quit due to a type 2 error. Why not instead the application has expectedly quit due to the poor coding in the operating system. Sometimes the problem is the operating system, but sometimes the problem would be the application itself, yung mga ginawang software. So guidelines from error message, we have the uh, PayTal, invalid, and bad, mga audio warnings, uppercase, and long code numbers, those are errors, blue screen, messages should be precise rather than bug, provide context-sensitive help. So, error message, commonly, pag nakakita kayo, syempre, nakaka-prustrate yan. So, website error and messages. Error for 04 webpage.com. Sometimes, this error can be considered in the host or domain. Or what we call the hosting of the website. So, your login information is incorrect and so on and so forth. So, nakaka-prustrate din to sa isang users. More helpful error messages. The requested page, Help Me, is not available on the web browser. If you follow on a leak bookmark to get to this page, 
please let us know. So, yan yung mga sample na kanila mga error messages. But this type of error messages can be helpful to them. You know why? Because there are some instructions na makakatulong sa isang users. Okay, for them to troubleshoot a certain error na lumalabas. Should computers say they're sorry? Ito yung kanilang common na laging sinasabi. No? Ano ba may kasalanan? Is the users or the computer or the application itself? Una, previous and last argued that computers should be made to apologize. That is one thing. But take note, the one who is creating the computer is human. Human. Human intelligent pa rin. Should eliminate human etiquette. Would users be as forgiving of computers saying sorry as people or each when they're saying sorry? No. Because computers are only dependent in one task. Okay? That is a machine that gathering instructions from the users. So how sincere would they think the people or let's say you think that computer was being offended? So for example, after a system crash. I'm really sorry I crashed. I'll try not to do, uh, not to do it again. So walang ganyan si computer. So sometimes, ang ginagawa ni computer is tracing the errors, bakit nag-crash ang isang certain application. He's fixing that, he's debugging that, and he will be displaying what is the result, what caused the crash or errors and bugs na meron dun dumating. Kaya nga, how else should computers communicate with the users? Through the use of user interface. Doon nila pinapakita. Messaging. So naglalabas ng mga pop-up message na error. So, they, how they communicate with the users. Detecting emotions and emotional technology. Sensing technologies used to measure GSR, facial expression, gesture, body, and movement. So, marami na ring types of system technology that are detecting or sensory type okay, that detects facial expression. Okay, yung gestures and body movement. Meron tayo mga camera na may mga motion sensor. Okay? Yun lang yun. Napakarami pang ibang technologies na nade-develop na ganyan. Aim is to predict user emotions and aspect to their behavior. What is someone most likely to buy online when feeling sad, bored, or happy? Facial coding. So it's how we measure the user emotion as they interact with the computer or tablet. Analyze the image captured by a webcam of their face. Use these agogs to uh, how engage the user is when looking at movies, online shopping sites, and advertisement. There are six forms of expression, sadness, happiness, disgust, fear, surprise, and anger. So may mga application na tayo dyan na mga tinatawag na uh, face detector kung ikaw ay masaya, malungkot, naiyak, and so on and so forth. So it's a combination of coding plus algorithm standards. So those type of algorithm standards commonly used uh, to measure. Yung tinatawag natin minsan yung mga objects, okay, yung expressions, and so on and so forth. So parang itong mga to. So screenshot showing facial coding from ad app deck software. So yan yun. Pakikita nyo kung sino masaya at hindi. So, nanonokis na nung kanilang sensory type na camera. It based on the texture or even the movement of the face. So, how to use the emotional data? If the user screw up their face, when an ad pops up, feel disgust. Start smiling, they are feeling happy. Website can adapt its movie storyline or content to match user emotional state. Eye tracking, the finger falls, falls speech and words, phrases, also analyze when tweeting or posting to Facebook. We have indirect emotions and detection. The beginning to be used more to infer or predict someone's behavior. For example, determining a person's suitability for the job on how they will vote at the election. So, yan yung mga sample na indirect emotion detection. Minsan, it's very frustrating. Hindi malaman kung ano yung emosyon na nararamdaman na itatago. So do you think it's creepy that technology can read your emotions from your facial expression or from your tweets? Yes, sometimes nade-detect nila yun because they are using artificial intelligence. Persuasive technologies and behavioral change. Okay, we have the interactive computing system. It was been delivered, designed to change people, attitudes, and behaviors. So meron na yan. A diversity of techniques now used to change what they do or think. 
Okay? So, commonly referred to as project. Siyempre, may mga application kayo na masaya kayo at malungkot kayo. Kung siya, Paul, tumitingin kayo sa Shopee, masaya kayo doon. Yun nga, lalaki pang bilis sa Shopee, malungkot kayo. So, it's a vice versa of emotion. Nintendo, Nintendo's Pocket Pikachu. So, changing bad habits and improving well-being. So, it was been designed to motivate children to be more physically active on a regular basis. So, the owners of the digital pet that lives in the device is required to walk, run, or jump. If the owner does not exercise, the virtual pet becomes angry and refuses to play anymore. So, I think this would be a good one para ito. Siyempre, alam niyo naman ang Nintendo. Uh, they are very aggressive in terms of develop, developing some interactive games. So, ito naman literal na kailangan mo maglakad, tumalon, at higit sa lahat, tumakbo. Para mag-continue ang inyong communication with that specific digital pet. So how it was been effective? Una nagiging effective to dahil unang-una nagiging interactive ka sa araw. Sa araw-araw na pamumuhay mo including the technologies that you are using, you are utilizing it. The combination of sensors and dynamically updated information. Hindi lang siya nakakatulong doon sa tinatawag nating emotional level mo, pati na rin sa physical health. So personalized message intermittently to a person more effective at changing siya person behavior than non-interactive methods. Non-interactive methods yung mga tipong hindi kayo gumagamit ng mga literal na kamay and so on and so forth, pati utak, hinanonood lang kayo. So it's it's too bad though, the much better if you are using inter interactive with the technologies such as the placement of warning signs, labels, or ads in prominent position. Which is most effective? So stir versus the elevator, static sign versus the ambient persuasion display which is more persuasive. So, stairs versus the elevators. So, actually, when you are using stairs and elevators, if you do want to do exercise and you have a good health, you use the stairs. But the problem if you have a PWD pregnant or any conditions that may affect na mapors ka, na makasama sa'yo, you should use the elevators. So actually, it is most uh, the both are effective, but it depends on the conditions. So it considered one of the emotional and physical state also. So tracking devices, na uso na rin mga tracking devices. Mobile apps designed to help people monitor and change their behavior. Fitness, sleeping, weight. Can compare with online leaderboards and charts to show how they have done in relation to their peers and friends. Also, the application that encourage reflection that in turn increase well-being and happiness. So, actually, there are certain types of tracking devices. Marami na yan. Kasi meron na tayong global positioning system. We call it the GPS. Next one is we have the energy reduction. So, energy reduction, the power of our importance is of electrical power strip, no? Some, uh, some of us are using yung LED na, light emitting diode. So, much better ito kumpara sa mga dating types of ano, no? uh, light, mga fluorescent, o yung mga ibang bumbilya. But the LED can be helpful. No? So, why? Because it consumes minimal energy or electricity. So, that is one thing. So, energy reduction is, can be considered in the human-computer interaction. The tidy street projects, so for example, this one. Large-scale visualization of the street electricity usage. Okay? Stencil display on the road surface using the chalk. Provide real-time feedback that all could see change each day. Reduce electricity consumption by 15%. So this type of tidy street projects are can be considered. Why? The visualization of the street can be much better, lalo na ito kung human uh, human factor ang pag-uusapan, kung makakatipid tayo ng consumption ng 15% sa kuryente, mas mainap. Hindi na kailangan masyadong gumamit ng ilaw. Okay, so uh, next to that, we have the fishing and trust. Ano yung fishing? So, we have used the, uh, to deceive people no? into parting of the personal details. Like in the PayPal, eBay, Visa, Mastercard, yung mga yung won the lottery letters. So naniniwala sila dyan. 
That is a fishing. Okay, so yung mga nagpapadala sa inyo yan, fishing ang tawag yan. No? So they are gathering your data, information. So, yun nga lang, masama yan. It's very bad because it's one of the uh, under in the cyber crime uh, that may cause the uh, broad damage, especially uh, in a one person. The, uh, the data of a one person. So allows internet fraudster to access their bank accounts and draw money from them. So, pera pinag-uusapan dito. So, pag nanakaw na ito, in short, many vulnerable people fall for it. Yes, lalo na yung mga hindi knowledgeable masyado sa computers, yung mga mabilis naniniwala. Mabilis mas scam, kumbaga. So, the art of deception is centuries old, but internet allows even more ingenious ways to trick people. Then we have what we call the anthropomorphism. So it would be attributing human-like qualities to inanimate objects. For example, cars and computers. Okay, so well-known phenomenon in advertising, dancing butter, drinks, breakfast cereal. So yan na yung mga hotdog na gumagalaw. So yung mga milk. So much exploited in human-computer interaction make user experience more enjoyable, more motivating, make people feel at ease and reduce anxiety. So even the dogs are speaking, are talking, di ba? So they are talking, they are speaking, they are singing, and so on and so forth. Na hindi naman nangyayari sa reality. So ang mangyayari doon is, it would be a base of that. Patutuwa ang isang tao because beyond the expectation in reality ang kanila ang nakikita. So which do you prepare as a welcome message, for example? Hello, please. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. Uh, now, What we were doing last time? Oh, exercise five. Let's start again. So the user twenty four comments exercise five. So these are example of preparing a welcome message to a user. Okay, so there are evidence to support the anthro anthropomorphism. So una positive impact on them. Their question makes an important and useful distinction. So student were more willing to continue with exercise with this kind of feedback. So ano lang yung naging criticism yan? Una, deceptive, make people anxious, inferior, or stupid. Di naman, siguro, kasi unang-una, meron din naman yung mga tipong tao na talagang natutuwa pag nakakita sila na mga, mga non-living things na nagsasalita. Okay? Even the plants, even the animals are talking and they're using it for designs and layouts Uh, to improve the emotions of a one certain users. So people tend not like the screen characters that wave their fingers and the users say, no, please, that's not right. You can do better than that. Try again. So, hindi naman pwede yun. It's very incorrect uh, for an impersonal. Studies show that the personalized feedback is considered to be less honest and make users feel less responsible for their actions. Kaya nga nauso yung mga tinatawag nating feedback na ano eh na hindi required yung pangalan. So doon nagsasabi ng kanilang mga hinaing. So we have, we have the virtual characters naman. So itong mga to appearing on our screen in form of sales agent, characters in video games, learning companions, wizard pets, and news readers. So provide a person that is welcoming as personality make us user feel involved with them. We got the enchanted kingdom. Okay, so they have wizard. Star City, they have a star. Jollibee, they have Jollibee. Si Jollibee mismo, yung bee na mascot. McDonald's and so on. So uh, they are using their trademarks, characters, or beyond expectation that could be literally memorable to the users. So what would be the disadvantage sometimes? Can lead people in false sense of belief. Okay? In testing them to confide personal secrets with scatter bots, annoying and frustrating, may not be trustworthy. Yung mga virtual shop assistants, minsan hindi kayo nagtutu, nag-ano dyan, nagtitiwala. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi yun ang kung very liable ba yung isang website. Yung annoying and frustrating naman, sometimes of the uh, designs and layouts, na minsan mga nagsasalitang hayop, napapaniwala tuloy yung mga bata na may nagsasalitang mga ganun. So those are type of disadvantage. Pero, It's for entertainment purposes. So, may mga sample nito yung mga virtual agents. So, what to do to the virtual agents? Do? Do they elicit an emotional response in 
you? Do you trust them? What is the style of interaction? What facial expression do they have? Are they believe, believable, pushy, and helpful? Would it be different if they were male? So, and how? So, the problem is when we are talking about virtual agents, these are agents. It's either they are using artificial intelligence or it's either what we call algorithm-based agents. So, ito yung mga tinatawag natin may kanya-kanyang proseso lang at sinusunod. Okay? So, walang emotions involved. So, those are the problem with the virtual agents. Okay? Ba't nagiging believable siya? What makes a virtual agent believable? Una, it refers to the extent to which user comes to believe an agent intentions and personality. Pangalawa, appearance is very important. A simple cartoon-like character or more realistic character resembling the human form more believable. So, behavior is very important. How an agent move, gesture, and refers to the object on the screen. Exaggeration of facial expression and gesture to show underlying emotions. Example, in the animation industry. There are robot-like or cuddly. Which do you prefer? Robot-like or yung cuddly? Siyempre, some of you would be amazed if this would be a robot. Sometimes naman, kung ito ay literal na Totoo. So the implications of that is should we create products that adapt according to the people's different emotional states? When people are feeling angry, should an interface be more attentive and informative than when they are happy? So those are the types of implications. So in, in short, the human-computer interactions, including the user in design plus the emotion itself, Okay? They are linked to each other. So emotional aspects of interaction designs concerned with how to facilitate certain states such as pleasures or avoid reactions or frustration. Another would be well-designed interfaces can elicit good, uh, elicit good feelings in people, good emotions. Okay? Aesthetically pleasing interfaces can be a pleasure to use. Expressive interfaces can provide Reassuring feedback to the users. Ito naman. Ito naman yung vice versa sa isa. Badly designed interfaces make people frustrated, annoyed, or even angry. Totoo yun. So emotional technolo technologies can be designed to persuade people to change their behaviors or attitudes. Malaki ang effect ko nito. Then we have the anthropomorphism is the attribution of human qualities to the objects. And then we have the virtual agents and robot pets have been developed to make people feel motivated, reassured, and in good mood. So human-computer interaction design plus emotion are linked together because it would continue to develop interactions for the human and technology for the future. So that's it for the topic five.